All right, so there's how it sits on 33 inch Aztecs. Uh, all stock suspension, just six inch portals and 33 Aztecs. Pretty much as high as you'd ever want a four wheeler. Um, it's still pretty narrow, as you can see. It'll still fit down uh, the trails like um, the Jungle Trail to Brick Lake and all that stuff. Um, still narrower than pretty much any side by side. Uh, I'll get the tape measure, show you some dimensions in a second. Um, a couple things to point out. So I really want to run 33s because in tons of tire clearance. Um, don't have to do any trimming, especially with the rake that these have in them. It's not going to be a problem. Uh, maybe slight trimming. We'll see once we get it at full flex, but looks like it's going to be pretty good the way it sits without any trimming. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, my wheelbase is about four inches um, longer than stock, so two inches in the rear, two inches in the front. Uh, it might be more like one and a half in the rear, two and a half in the front. I need to take some more measurements. I'll do that when we get the tires back off, but it looks pretty mean. Um, ground clearance is good. Steering's good. I have stock, stock tie rods on there still. I'm probably going to run them for a while. Um, I've had a lot of issues with um, Heim joint tie rods. They just get tight on me. I don't like that. That's pretty good ground clearance. It looks really mean and it's reliable, right? Stock axles. If I break an axle, I'll just throw a demon in there. Don't just more, mail it out for warranty. Wait for all that crap. Um, so that's awesome. It's all stock except for the ball joints and the portals. So the knuckles is basically is the portal. Um, and it should turn these fine. We're gonna go do some testing now and see what its top speed is on the GPS. Uh, we're also gonna put it in the pond and do all that stuff too. I'm neck deep here. Oh, digging. She digging. Put her, lock it in four. There we go. Felt pretty good. Notice the difference. Funny. Not too bad. That was the not steep side. Let's go up the steep side. I haven't heard an ounce of rubbing yet. Yeah, the front end came up a little bit there, but not too bad. Thirty-seven at the rev limiter. Never got above that, which is you know not amazing, but it's tolerable. Um, but no rubbing. And obviously first gear is absolute tractor status, way more torque than you could possibly ever want. Uh, let's get the tape measure out and take a few more measurements. So my front width, I'm at 53 and a half inches. My rear width, I'm at about 54 inches. 53 and a half. So pretty much the same width front and rear. So that's good. The portal brackets and the way the axles stick out doesn't really affect the width apparently. So it's pretty square. Um, and then let's see what ground clearance is now that we drove it around some. Uh, like 22 in the rear. So it sagged a small amount. And I expect the front sag more. Yeah, now we're like 20 in the front. So still really good ground clearance. I could crank the springs up. My springs are almost on the softest settings. 
uh, one click from softest front and rear. So I could mess with that if I wanted to, but I probably won't because it rides pretty good. You can see how close the, um, the portal brackets are to the hubs in the rear. So you definitely couldn't run a wheel with any less offset. They're almost touching. You have about a quarter inch of clearance, which is what you want, honestly, to put the least amount of stress on everything. And the front, slightly more clearance, maybe three eighths of an inch of clearance in the front. But it looks pretty good. So um, that was fun. So what did we learn? Um, I think if I put 35s on this machine, I'm going to have to do the raked rear control arms, which no one's really making right now. And then you have to have high end joints and all that stuff. Um, so that's definitely an option if I want to go 35s. I think on, 30, on 33s, it's pretty manageable as far as not flipping over backwards. But if you want to go up on tire size, you need to rake the back out some more. Um, and either way, if I go 33s or 35s, I do need a little bit more track width for stability. Um, so what I'm thinking I'm probably going to do is probably going to go 33s and I'm probably going to go with a slightly uh, wider offset. Um, uh, slightly, I mean like maybe half an inch per wheel, an inch overall. Uh, I could run these wheels and wheel spacers um, because I do like the bead locks, but Tarachis never have bead problems. They have such good beads that I'm really not too worried about it. And I do like that if you run an 18 inch wheel with a six inch box, the portal fits into the wheel very well. You don't have much extra space around it, so you're really maximizing your your portal look where the, you know the wheels next to the box I like that a lot um, got a few lily pads in here but yeah pretty successful um, let's see if figure out that air box leak and now I got to order some tires and wheels so I think I am gonna go with 33s it's gonna be a little slow um, but it'll be bulletproof like that it'll be really hard to break stuff especially with these big ball joints I've got and everything and I like how it looks like this and it's a Rubicon so it's not a ton of power and a 33 Aztec on an 18 is a very light setup so I think that's gonna be the way to go 35s would be cool, 38s would be cooler, but 33s would be a lot more functional 